I'm going to try to beat Minecraft in hardcore. As we all know, if you die in hardcore mode, you have to spectate the world. That's it. One life, no do-overs. I want to make this even more challenging, so that's where you come in. Every episode, I'm going to be doing a challenge that you leave for me in the comments. And if I don't complete this challenge, then I lose one inventory space. That can only be unlocked again by completing the next challenge. I'm also going to be inviting a few other creators on to help with the more challenging aspects of the game. Now, I've never beat the game in hardcore. I've barely beat the game. Well, not even fully beat the game in survival. So this should be fairly interesting, but it could also be quite lethal for me. But I figured this would be a nice little series we can do while we wait for the next update to come out. But I think I wasted enough time with that fancy intro. I need to get myself established. And this is actually a pretty good biome to start out in hardcore. It's not too dark with all the trees, but there's like mushrooms, which can be turned into soup, which is good. So plenty of food, which is a definite must in hardcore. But when I say complete the game, I mean, I've got to do all of the Minecrafty things. Build a cool base, maybe a mega base, probably mess with villagers, which I barely done before. Fight the dragon, fight the wither, take on the, what is it, the ocean monument, as well as the woodland mansion, which I've done once before in regular survival, and I think I died. So yeah, this is probably going to be a bad idea. Oh, snap. That is a big cave, but it's got a mine shaft. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to keep my eye out <laughs> for any red mushrooms because all I'm seeing are brown ones. I need red ones in order to make stew. Because uh, one downside to this biome is mobs don't spawn very often because there's not a lot of grass. And I want to avoid any unnecessary risks. However, I do need coal, so I'm going to have to venture into this cave here. Will he not die? As long as I keep my wits about me, I should be okay. Oh, get the coal, get the coal, get the coal, make a torch. Oh, okay, I can at least see. And, and you can see. I've actually been wanting to play hardcore for a while now. I've just never figured out how because I don't want to do just the traditional hardcore let's play that everybody has done to death at this point. So I thought this was a fun little uh, addition I could do. And it gets you guys involved as well, which is always fun. I'm hearing a spider. I'm really hoping it's not a cave spider because I would die. I would just die. I would give up. Oh. As far as the challenges go, I'm going to call them quests because it sounds cooler. Oh, man. And uh, as far as this episode's quest goes, um, there's no comments yet, so I'm probably just going to come up with one. It'd probably be something like get diamonds or something like that. I don't know. Just a good starter quest like that. I very, very quickly need to make some sort of armor. I also need to get food desperately. Maybe I can try and find some berry bushes real quick. That'll at least be something. Otherwise, I'm still looking for red mushrooms. Oh my gosh, I found a little fox family. Oh, we found the mushrooms. Okay, my mushroom adventure has taken me into the night. Not great. So I'm going to hunker in the caves because I don't have a bed. This may not be the best idea, but it's all I've got for me. Oh my gosh, there's a spider jockey. What the heck? What the heck? Oh gosh, this is not good. This is not a good start. I'm gonna hide up here. I gotta make a new crafty table now. Okay, the spider's killing the skeleton. That's good. Make a shield, make a shield, make a sword. Good, and that leaves me up with a pickaxe, dope. Oh gosh, why are you here? Go away. Well, hopefully this mine shaft will help me get enough iron to where I can then go deeper. Ooh, lapis, that's up pretty high. As of right now, my main goal is just to get armor. Ooh, I found a chest. Yes, it's got more iron in it. Golden apple, that's huge. Glow berries, rails, beetroot seeds, I'll take those. And coal, that's actually a really helpful chest. Okay, I can't really make much armor. I could make some boots, I guess. I'm going to go for boots. I think that'd be smarter. Your feet take a lot of damage. Copper is not the most useful thing in the beginning of the game, but it's pretty, so I'm going to grab it. I seem to be getting pretty lucky with the iron. I'm finding quite a bit of it, actually. We found a spore blossom. Wink. You know, I've always wanted to wear these as a hat. They just look like a hat. I would totally wear a flower on my head. That would look cool. I played hardcore before, but all I really did was build a base, and that was it. And it didn't even die. I just kind of got bored of it, I think. 
So I have a little bit of experience, but not a lot. I've only just realized how fantastic of a find this golden apple is, because, I mean, something like this can mean the difference between life and death, which in hardcore is huge. It's absolutely massive. That should be enough iron to make the rest of my armor. Here we go. Looking much better. This is a very precarious place to be. I had a skeleton over here. There's a creeper over here. And I got this guy. What the heck? <laughs> How did I get here? I was just trying to get out, man. I was literally trying to look. God, scared the crap out of me. Eve. Oh my gosh, I missed a chest. Ooh, an ink tag. Some bread. <gasps> Melon seeds. That's actually cool. Good chest. Is this the way out? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Oh, that was scary. Oh, and now it's raining. That's unbelievable. That actually went pretty well. I've got full iron armor now, plus a shield, plus a bunch of resources, which is always good. So I suppose now I need to get myself set up somewhere base-wise. Wow, this is a cool uh, valley, I guess. Would this can be considered a valley? Not quite a fjord, there's not enough water. Oh my gosh, I found pumpkins. And a cow! Oh, I've never been so happy to see a cow. I don't really have any way of moving them, so I'll just stay here for now, but... There's at least one cow. Oh, there's another cow! Fantastic, alright, you guys stay here till I find a place to base, alright? Oh, and there's pigs. There's a sheep! There's a whole sheep. Now, I, I don't want to just go around massacring everything. I need to get things put in pens first because uh, animal spawning could be kind of difficult. Although, maybe not because there's this just regular taiga out here, which means lots of grass. Oh, good. I just ran out of soup. Now I have another source of food. The forest al always provides pain and, and, as well as food. Okay, I can recover that one heart that I lost. <laughs> okay, it's starting to get dark and mobs are spawning. This is not very good. Oh, hello, sir. That's a skeleton. Deal with you. Go away, spider. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh, there's two of them. We're just going to run. We're just going to run. Gonna run. Well, this is a nice spot. This is really pretty. It's too bad I'm running from my life right now. Uh, oh, poof, that was close. What's up, Squid? Can I just hang out with you guys? This is my island sanctuary now. Okay, I desperately need to get a bed. I also need to unload. And I'm kind of feeling this island vibe right now. So I'm gonna make a chest right here. I'm going to put all of this extra stuff in here. Alright, I've made a pair of shears as well as a bucket. And I'm going to have to adventure off of my island of fortitude. And find a couple of sheep. So that I can make a bed so I can skip the rain and the monsters. Oh, we got a village over there. That's cool. Hey, they'll probably have a bed and things. Oh my gosh, I found a sheep, but it's guarded by monsters. Ouch! Yeah, go fight the skeleton for me. Get him! Get him! Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of sheep over here. Oh gosh, he's got- no, he's got a show- oh gosh, oh gosh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, I can't believe I got out of that. There's- oh, there's stray here. Oh, they're dangerous. I need my apple. Oh. Oh, okay. I just want some wool, bro. Okay, I'm gonna worry about making a bed later. I think I'm just going to book it to the village and sleep there for the night because this is too dangerous. There's Stray, okay? Stray are scary on hardcore. They slow you down, then you can't run away. Then you're dead. That's what happens. There are no beds. Oh, there's a child in this one. Ooh. Potatoes and snow. There's a child sleeping in there. We won't, we won't disturb the child. Okay. I got a bed. Sleep. Oh. Well, now that I know that there is a village over there, this spot, which I kind of like, is looking even better because then I don't have to transport the villages very far. 
And I'm thinking right up here is where I'll put my starter base. It's kind of flatter. It's raised up off the ground a little bit so I can kind of see what's going on. A little bit easier. So I think I just need to spend some time clearing these trees, planting some crops, and just getting settled. Start the music, everyone. It's grind time. I know that that was about 20 seconds for you guys, but for me, it was like four hours of work. Chopping trees, planting crops, and getting those guys. I had to like climb the whole mountain just to get the cows. And then to go the other side of it to go get the sheep. But I'm kind of at the point to where I'd like to build my base, but I'm kind of lacking the resources. So I need to go get some of those. And I'd like to find some dark oak in particular. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I would just like to have it. <laughs> As well as like some bamboo, because those are new blocks that I really haven't touched. But also I'd like some jungle wood, maybe some acacia wood. I'd just like to have just more options, really. We're going to go for a bit of an adventure and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, I did not have to travel very far. Literally, we walk back here just a little bit. There, There's my base. It's right there. And the dark oak's just right over there. Look at that, you can see it right there. I was way close. It's barely an adventure, it's more just a sprint down to the store. <laughs> I don't actually feel like chopping down the trees right now, so I'm just going to break the leaves until I get stuff like Nice. <laughs> there we go. Eight ought to do it. Oh, boy. There's a mansion. I've only ever taken these on once before and succeeded. I'm pretty sure I died in the process. I don't even know if it's going to really be worth going in here today, though. I mean, I've only got iron armor, but they could have some good stuff like bookshelves. Oh, it's worth it for the bookshelves. Oh, there's an evoker right there. That is not what I want. Oh, he's laughing at me. He knows he's in the way. Is there a way I can sneak in here without this guy seeing me? He's right there. Luckily, they don't uh, understand glass. Okay, if I can do this fast enough. Without them seeing me. Perfect. <laughs> I can grab these books. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. I'll uh, I'll come back later with hopefully some reinforcements. Alright, well, even though I've already got my dark oak, I would still like to find some other wood types, so I'm gonna keep traveling in a straight line this way till I find some more. I have finally found the jungle. I'm about a thousand blocks away, I think. So not too bad. There's also a village here, which is also quite good. Ooh, I could get some carrots. Hopefully. Something isn't quite right, but I can't place my finger on it. Oh well, it's probably nothing. You know, we can actually get a lot of stuff from the jungles. We can get jungle wood. We can get bamboo. We can get cocoa beans. We can get vines. I was going to say ferns, but we can get those where we're at anyway. All right, another eight saplings and I am good to go. I've also got some cocoa beans. I've got plenty of jungle wood and bamboo. So yeah, I should be done with the jungle. And I have found a savanna on my way home. So I'm going to grab up some of this while I'm here. And now that I am home, I've been pretty busy and I did record most of it. However, it was pretty abysmal, so I'm not going to show it. Instead, I'll just go over everything with you right now real quick. We've got copper aging. I've been to the nether to mine some quartz. That was it. It was really boring. I've got my enchanting table set up using the bookshelves I got from the mansion. And I've also got two diamond pickaxes, one unenchanted and one enchanted with efficiency four and silk touch, which was pretty lucky on the first draw. However, now I'm about ready to start building my starter base. I've just got to collect a few more materials, but you don't care about that. Instead, we're just going to start the time lapse right now. And there we have it, my friends. The house is built. What do you think? It's kind of different than how I would normally build. I was kind of going for 
overgrown industrial sort of I'm not really sure I winged the entire thing so this is all me like it's just yeah <laughs> I kind of like it it's very different than what I normally build so I'm kind of unsure on it at the moment but it's kind of cool I mean I get a pretty sweet view of the lake down here which is pretty awesome and you didn't see it in the time lapse, but I did fill this in and I've got a little bit of a gradient coming down here to the darkest deep slate can get. And while the outside looks pretty done, the interior is pretty bare. I'm probably going to do this in between episodes. I do have a nice ceiling. Oh, I missed some signs over here. I got this trick from Pearlescent Moon, but I got a bunch of chests here. I'm going to move all my stuff in here. I got a little balcony right here and I've actually got a little, little balcony out here, which is kind of cool. You can look at the nice... Uh, dirt <laughs> and then coming up the stairs here we have yet another empty room complete with a balcony which we can stare at the cows and the, the sheep i'm not sure what to put in here i'm thinking a bedroom but i'm just going to be bringing my bed with me which i have found is the hardest part of hardcore it's remembering to grab your bed i'm so used to survival and would rather have my spawn set in my house rather than at spawn i always just leave my bed in my house so yeah that's kind of tricky and then upstairs here, I've threw my enchanting up here. I'm not sure how to decorate this exactly. I might throw in some beams or something. I'm not sure. Going to work all this out in between episodes. Now, with that said, I am at level 31, which means I can enchant my pickaxe. And what are we going to get? Well, oh, that was frustrating. I must get fortune. Oh, this isn't the right floor. Oh, well. Well, as annoying as that was, I do need diamonds. So I'm going to head down this intimidating staircase of doom and go get the ones that I left down here. And that brings me to a grand total of 38 diamond ore. I know that they changed the, how diamonds spawn, but that's a lot. Even for me, that's a lot of ore. And now I get to do the fun part of pillaring this up and mining all of it. Safely up here on the surface where nothing can hurt me. Fortunately, I don't have fortune. So this is just 38 diamonds. However, that should be enough to make a full suit of armor as well as the rest of my tools. Oh yeah, level 30. Nice. All right, let's get to crafting this up. Let's start with the armor because that is important. And then we want the tools, which leaves me with a grand total of six diamonds remaining. Oh, I've got this one in here too. All right, let's try this again. Ooh, I'm breaking three. Oh, yes, that is a fantastic pick. I should have done that from the get-go. I could have got so many more diamonds. Oh, well, but with that, it's time to retire the old iron armor and replace it with the shiny blue stuff. Oh boy. And I think that's where we're going to leave it today. We got full diamond armor, built a house, got lots of farms and all that good stuff it was a lot it was it was a lot so thank you all so very much for watching don't forget to leave a comment for the challenge for the next episode and i will see you all next time bye bye bye, -bye.